We're going to try some sample test questions. This one says evaluate negative 2x cubed plus 2x squared plus 1 for x equals a quarter. Go ahead and try and see if you can plug in a quarter where all the x's are and see what you get. First of all, you need to know PEMDAS and you need to remember that when you have an evaluation question, as I said at the beginning of the year, you've got to create pockets for yourself. Otherwise, you, you get in trouble real quick. So let's create the pockets. Negative 2. Now there's a pocket wherever the x is. The x is going to be filled by the, the quarter because x is equal to a quarter plus 2 times a quarter squared, right, plus 1. And now, um, now that you've done that, that's our first step. You have to have that organized. You have to decide what to do first. You've got to think about PEMDAS because PEMDAS means what? Uh, parentheses, exponents, exponents division, addition, subtraction. Good. That's right. Now, as far let's wait till Glenda moves aside here for a second. Right now, can we do anything inside the parentheses? That's, we, yeah, there's nothing in, like, there's nothing like 1 Multiply. plus 3, there's nothing in the parentheses themselves that we can do. So we go to exponents, well, yes, we can do something with exponents, right, Jesse? What's 1 quarter cubed? What's 1 quarter to the third power? What does that mean? 164. It, that's right, because what did you do? You multiplied by 1, one, one quarter, quarter by, by itself. One, 1 quarter by 1 quarter equals 1 over 16, then 1 16 times. Exactly. So let's write that out. Negative 2, and then put a parentheses, negative 2 times one quarter times one quarter times one quarter times one quarter. So put one quarter times one quarter times one quarter. This is the long way, but it works. Plus two, and then the same thing there. It's one quarter times one quarter because that's what it says. You do that first. And then all that plus one. And there you go. Now that is equal to, if you remember your fractions, one times one times one is one. Four times four times four is, is 64. So it's negative two onto one over 64. Negative two onto one over 64, yeah? Um, in brackets, right? Oh. Good. Plus 2 times 1 over 16 plus 1. And then we just, yeah, the 2 goes into 64. It's going to be negative 1 over 32. 1 over 32 plus 1 over 8. And plus 1. And now it's really just fractions. What are we going to do now? Yes, uh, Danny? Yeah. What, what's that? Like yeah, like terms. We have to have the same denominator. 32. So well, it's going to be 32, so we have to convert this. So it's negative 1 over 32. Yeah, okay. But then if you, have, if you multiply this by 4, you have to multiply by 4 on the top. So it's going to be, I don't like doing it that way. I want negative 1 over 32, right? Negative 1 over 32. And then what we're talking about here is we're multiplying this by 4 and that by 4, okay? To get... Uh, 4 over 32. Now over here, 1 is the same as what? 32 over 32. 32 over 32. Exactly. And now we can just add the tops and keep the bottom in common. And it's negative 1 plus 4. 3 plus 32 is 35 over 32, which is 1 and 3 30 seconds. And we're done. Yeah, we're going to check this out. Do you have to break it down like that? Right? You don't have to. 35 over 32 is fine. Either one of those is fine. Either one of those, okay? Or. Okay? The key to this question was back here. What they're trying to do is trick you into some of you are going to go, oh, negative 2 times 1 quarter. Some of you are going to try to simplify it back here and you're going to get tripped up. You got to remember PEMDAS, and PEMDAS says exponents first, okay. then multiply and divide. So that's that's what they did. The other thing they were reviewing is fractions, which you got to know. Okay. How'd you do? How'd, how'd you get one and? Three uh, just that's just mixed numbers. Thirty-five over thirty-two is the same as one and three thirty seconds. Okay. Negative two times one over sixty-four is. What do you mean negative two times one? Well, what are you talk? Where where are we talking about? Right here. Right, right, right there. Yeah, because two goes into sixty-four thirty-two times. If you cancel. Well, if you put. Yeah, if that's over one, one. Yeah. Then this, okay, you divide by thirty-two. Oh, you have to cross multiply. Yeah, you would there. You're really simplifying there. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You're simplifying. Other questions? Koi, Don, Gabby. Okay. Uh, negative 3x squared y cubed all squared over 4x squared yz to the fourth power. The key is someone asked, well, can't we just cancel the x squared? No. no, because you've got, again, the PEMDAS thing. Parentheses, exponents, then multiply, divide. If you were to cancel, it would be dividing, and you can't do that until you deal with the exponents. Right? So, first of all, the trick is 
that this 2 gets distributed onto these things. It's not 2 times negative 3, it's negative 3 squared. So let's write that first. Negative 3 squared. Go ahead and write that, Glenna. And then it's going to be negative 3 squared. It's going to be x to the 4th, y to the 6th. Now what did we do to get that? And then stand aside. No, 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 no. It's, you're, you're multiplying that 2 times 3. No, no, you only, see that's the big confusion and that's what this is testing. That's the key. The key is to understand the difference between y. No, it's, you're just doing it on the wrong I, I know, it's okay. Y squared, okay, times y cubed equals y. y yes, good job, thank you. Okay, but y squared to the third power is equal exactly y to the two times three, which is equal to y to the six. This, I can't emphasize this enough. This, you have to go over and over this till you get it. If you don't get this and you're at home watching this, pause it and try it yourself. Pause it and see if you can do another example just like this. In fact, everybody try this on your own. Try it right now. Take any example. Take y cubed times y to the fifth. And then make sure you add the exponents when you're multiplying powers of the same base. The y is the base, right? So you're multiplying powers of the same base and you add the exponents. Whereas here, you're just distributing the 3 because this is y squared to the third power. You're simply multiplying the 3 times 2, which is y 2 times 3, which is y to the 6. There's a logic behind it. This is actually, if you were to write this out, okay, if you were to write this out, if you want to know the logic, this is actually saying y squared times y squared times y squared. That's what that's saying. Because it's saying y squared times itself three times. Well, y squared times y squared times y squared is y2 plus 2 plus 2, which is y to the 6. And that's why it worked out that way. Okay? So that's the logic behind this one. That is fundamental. You have to know. Remember I said there's a trick to every section, to every little thing we do? There's a tool or a trick. You've got to know that. Otherwise, you won't be able to do this kind of question. So let's get back to the question itself. So you could you tell me what what do we do with that that the, the exponent there? Four to the fourth. Four to the fourth. That's right. X squared to the fourth means it's going to equal what? X to the eighth. Good. Y to the fourth. Y to the fourth. Good. Good. Excellent. Now we can do what Chelsea wanted to do at the beginning. Now we're liberated from the exponent and the parentheses. We don't have to deal with the p and the e of PEMDAS. We have to deal with multiplying and dividing. In this case, division. It's division. So we do the division. And what do we get? Well, first, we're not quite done with the numbers yet. So we get negative 3 squared equals 9. x to the 4 minus 8. 4 minus 8. Why do you subtract the exponents? Because of the denominator. They have the same base. Good. And y to the 6 minus 4. y to the 6 minus 4. Yeah, y to the 6 minus 4, yeah. And there's no z, so you just leave the z. That's it. Now on the bottom, you're left with 4 to the 4th power. What's 4 to the 4th power? 4 times 4, 256. Okay? Because it's 4 times 4, which is 16 times 4, which is 64 times 4 is 256. And now we've got y to the 4th, z to the 4th. y to the 4th, z to the 4th. Actually, no, I'm just z to the 4th, sorry. Just z to the 4th. Yeah. Just z to the 4th. Why? Because there was no z to the, on the top, so we just leave it where it is. Now, we're not quite done, but we're getting there. What's x to the 4 minus 8? We'll rewrite it. 9, x to the negative 4. But you put it on the Yeah, we will, we will. x to the negative 4. x to the negative 4. This is z, or y to the y squared, good, over 256 z to the 4th. We're not done because we don't want to leave any negative exponents. Can we do anything with that x to the negative 4? Put it on the bottom. Whenever it's a negative exponent, you put it on the bottom. So it's y squared. 256 wow. x to the fourth, 256 x to the fourth, z to the fourth. And that's all we can do unless we can simplify that. Can we get 9 into 256 somehow? No. No? It doesn't divide by 3. Does 3 go into 256? It goes into 256. It goes into 240, but not into 256. 3 doesn't go into 256. Because if it goes into 240 80 times, there's 16 left over, and 16 doesn't go into 3, doesn't go into 16. So I don't think it's going to do anything. So that's it. That's all she wrote on that one. This is the other thing you needed to remember about this. x to the negative 1 equals 1 over x. x to the negative 2 equals 1 over x squared. You need to know your negative exponents. Okay? Any questions?